please join me in giving a very warm welcome to Richard and the Sacco. Thank you. Thank you so much for the kind introduction. Um, I'm Masako Shiba. Um, as she just um, introduced me right now, I am a New York-based art um, person. I have been in New York for 20 years, and I specialize in Asian contemporary art, and especially US-Japan cultural exchange. So I'm very honored here today to be presenting um, the celebrating the launch of Tokyo Tokyo Richard's highly anticipated new book. Um, and I think most of you here are familiar with Richard's work, a fan of his work, especially from the first inaugural book, New York, New York. And that hits home because we're New Yorkers. And it also kind of means how it's a different mindset in terms of how not so many people are from New York. We all come to New York and we fall in love with New York and we live here forever. And <laughs> so the book was a celebration of that scene. And um, I think that was really um, exciting. So Tokyo, Tokyo, in my understanding, is a very different environment. And I wanted to start this conversation by asking the background of the story of how this book came to be. Thank you, uh, Masako. And I'm also very honored that, uh, that you are here tonight. So to start off, Tokyo, Tokyo. Um, Pew, where to start? There is a big difference between New York, New York, and that my book, Tokyo, Tokyo. And that is that mm, I live in New York and I don't live in Tokyo. That's the, the biggest difference, actually. Because Tokyo, Tokyo consists of like a lot of images that are collected from my archive and also when um, the publisher, Lanou um, Publishers, um, asked me to do the book. I started to photograph with the book in mind. And so it is the time span was way larger than um, Tokyo, Tokyo. I visited Tokyo in 2019, um, in beginning of January, when there were some rumors of a virus going on in China. Do we remember that? <laughs> <laughs> it was and a different world. It, it was definitely a different world. Mm -hmm. And I visited Tokyo. Um, I was there with, uh, with my wife Ivy, and she was there for business, and I was there on my own. And I was like, this is insane. This city is, ins you know, it's massive. It's, it basically, it quadrupled everything that I've experienced before in, uh, in on all levels. So I emailed, I took some photographs and I emailed them to my publisher. And I'm like, how about Tokyo? And the pictures were nice, I think they thought. And they were like, okay, let's go for it. However, they had the Olympics in mind as a commercial thing. So they thought, let's make that book before the Olympics happen and uh, there will be a book available for everybody who's, and you know, we know how the story went and how everything went down the drain. And Japan was locked till November 2022 and the book was already available on Amazon for pre-order since 2019. And I even got emails from people like, when is this book coming? And I hadn't made a single photograph <laughs> and it was like oh this is awful and so um, I had to do this in a very short time and what you see in my book New York New York is you see the the seasons coming in and going and I was like okay I cannot do this in one visit I need at least of course some things that you would expect from Tokyo the cherry blossoms I wanted to do of course the autumn leaves I didn't was I wasn't able to catch that but so I had to visit two trips and um, and off I went, yeah. How long were the total duration? The, of so the total duration was one month. So I made this book in one month, yeah. You made the whole book? The whole book, book in, one, in month. one month. Yeah. Very concentrated. It was, I was, um, it was insane. <laughs> Hour-wise, it was insane. Uh, but also, my first trip, I started to, vi I came into Tokyo, and I'm like, okay, let's capture Tokyo. And I immediately knew, I'm going to fail. This is going to be awful. Like, I have like this, how do you capture Tokyo? You cannot capture Tokyo. Um, the sheer, if I looked at Google Maps, it's like, how I'm going to start? How am I going to, like, I had no idea how to grab this bull by the horns. And I was like, um, 
I had difficulty, of course, with the fact that I didn't really connect with anybody. So there was, I could tell right away in my imagery, a certain distance, a certain outside, looking inside. Um, then I got social media. I love to like bring in the people from social media and telling what I'm working on. And everybody was asking like, um, go to this, you know, this store that, or check out the tea ceremony, check out the kimono, like all the cliches came passing by that I needed to capture. And I was like walking around, I'm like, this is completely different than what people want to see actually. And so, yeah, I really had to like, on my trip, figure out how I'm going to like do this. Yeah. So I'm glad you noticed that's a cliche. I'm <laughs> I grew up in Japan, but I can attest that I don't necessarily wear kimono every day or drink matcha first thing in the morning <laughs> or have a samurai sword hidden somewhere. Mm -hmm. We don't do that actually. Right. So um, it's really exciting that you came from a place of like complete shock. I'm assuming it's one of the first times you've been to Japan in 2019. Yeah, yep, exactly. And then you fell in love. So it's something new and unique and you wanted to explore that, but you didn't go straight towards the Fujiyama Geisha situation, which we're very grateful about here. Mm -hmm. So, but it's a very interesting play in this book. You have the anticipation of a stereotype and a cliche, but you kind of want to know more about it. And I think that's relevant in the cover image that we have here of the Harajuku girls. And I think a lot of people, when they go to Japan, expect them to be walking all over the place. Um, and I want to hear if that was the case in Harajuku. Right. Is it full of these girls? <laughs> and are these like the special two that you selected? Right. And, and what does this dude casually doing here? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, this was kind of a story. And I really have to thank, I, 